Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cast. Playing and commentating live from the North America ladder. Having a little bit more success in TVP as of late. Um, <clears throat> adding a, um, a containment when I get Protoss back to one base and it seems to be upping my win rate so hopefully this is the boost I need to get back to Master League. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still, you know, I still have to play on Polar Knight though, which is <laughs> so basically like w one in five games or one in four games. How many active maps are there? Five or four? Whatever it is, whenever I get Polar Knight, my win rate drops to about twenty percent. Which is better than Star Station, which was at zero percent, and Frost, which was at like. 11%. It's just uh, TBT and TBZ strategies can't work. Like, my strategy for those matchups can't work on any of those maps. So I figure Polar Knight's the best one to just do an all-in on. But I digress. We have a Protoss here on Belshir. So yeah, we'll see if we get to get into the point in the game where we'll be containing the Protoss and see how I can handle that. The other thing I do now is I proxy my factory, and that allows me to get a scout in on my opponent. So when I take the Nexus down and I start the containment, um, I can get the scout factory into his base and see exactly what's going on. Because when I have my whole army away from my main base, which is what, kind of what happens when I have a containment, um, I need a lot of scouting information to stay safe against all the various harassments you could do on my main, as well as the like just straight up busting out of the front. Not enough minerals. That was natural. Not enough minerals. 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 Additional supplies. Yo. Yep. What's going on? Not enough. Best CV ready. In the rear. Bad news. Go ahead. Oh, jeez. What am I doing with these SCVs? Lay my gas because <laughs> I kept grabbing the wrong SCV to double up the wrong mineral patch. Oh well. SCV ready. Ah, you scared me. Big job, huh? Huh? SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Alright, send him to look for Oracle. You want a piece of me, boy? Been waiting on you. You got it. And having a messed up muffler shouldn't Why be allowed not? in a major city. Last thing you want is having like Harley Davidson. Riding down the street at the middle of the night, waking up the entire city. <laughs> One of those guys that have like a Honda Civic and think it making their engine sound like garbage by putting this giant muffler on it would. <laughs> oh, I forgot my depot. Makes the car sound cool, so they get to wake up the neighborhood. Ah, uh, this depot's so late. Alright, let's take our next gas. <laughs> Additional supply depots required. Wow, it's so late. I didn't think it looked that late, but Additional 
Research complete. Don't leave me hanging. Armed in. Keep your shirt. Who wants some? Kaboom, baby! So you put on a little stalker mothership. Or stalkers, zealot pressure. Usually it's two stalkers, a zealot, and a mothership core. Maybe the other stuff was on the way and he just pulled it back. Or maybe it was just a different kind of pressure. Minerals. Seem to get a little bit of rust done with a, maybe a widow mine or something too. Research complete. Move it. You gonna give me orders? I'm on it. Keep your shirt Unacceptable on, landing zone. Just gonna flat out leave. Oh, did he lose his mothership core? Oh, it sucked. He may have. I thought he was trying to buy time for another uh, overcharge. Yeah, it looks dead. Well, let's take a quick look at the replay. So we didn't get into the containment part of the game, but you can see where I was going with it. Or, if you go to Intel, I'll explain where I was going with it. So build over for the two racks. And the most important part about it is you don't need your second depot until after your second barracks. So it's depot, barracks, gas, barracks orbital and then reactor and right now I should be building the supply depot and if I build that supply depot now even though it's I'm already at 17 and 19 I won't supply gap because this is turning into an orbital this is adding a reactor and when this finishes it's adding a tech lab so I'm not actually producing any units and but I forgot to make this depot so I still supply gap <laughs> yeah I With 300 and the 400 in the bank, I started my depot. <laughs> so very late. It's supposed to be done before this add-on and this add-on are done. And it's obviously not. So for that reason, I took this gas a little bit early. And got the second depot early. Or third depot, I guess. So I'm putting on a little bit of pressure with just two units. But in normal time to expand. <coughs> I guess the only thing different is that he got a zealot. But he's still this stock, quick stalker mothership core with a nexus, and the nexus he can overcharge. Look like he's trying to survive without overcharging. 
but right there I forced it out. I might have been able to commit to killing the Mothership Corps if I gave up all th three Marines. Still lost one of them. But that's okay. So now... Actually, when I push out with, with this, it's actually a good time to send out this SCV. So SCV is a touch late, but that's okay. Um, but ideally, I like to have my factory done before I push in with this. And I can... Uh, you know, you can use it as a scout, but before I use it as a scout, I'm going to like to try to just drop a Widow, widow Mine in his Mineral Line or something like that. And you can kind of time that with this attack. The downside to proxying this factory is that my starport will have to build its own reactor at home. But that just means my starport production starts a little bit late. So waiting for my stim timing. Came with a lot of SCVs. One thing I need to do though is keep not use one SCV in the fight. Just keep one SCV here, which I forgot about. Because sometimes I'll do this fight and my SCVs will be tanked and they'll all die. And then when I take this expansion down, I'm ready to throw up bunkers and containment, contain them. I'm like, oh, well, I don't have any SCVs here. Another option is to use this SCV, the one that's building the factory, pull it over to the side here. Oh, I thought that was a pylon. <laughs> so here comes the stim timing. Just trying to get in deep because I didn't want to get force field right here. Yeah, it looks like the mothership core did go down just before it had enough energy to overcharge. It's pretty close, looked like. Might be no frustration. They did no, actually wasn't that close. You still need another 15 energy. I lose the game, but um. Let's say he sacked the natural, you know, he pulled his gateway units back up to the high ground, he, he warped into sentry, pulled his pros back, so I could just take out the nexus and the pylon and whatnot. Um, the follow-up, you know, try to widow mine him, and then lift this thing off and see what his tech route is. So right here I'm going to be able to see Twilight Council, no robotics. So right away I can, th I can say to myself, okay, if I contain him here and put a lot of my bio here, I'll have to worry about um, zealots running into my main, either from a proxy pylon or just like warping on the low ground from one of these external pylons. I'll have to worry about um, Dark Templar, possibly, since he went Twilight Council, and Blink Stalkers. He could also just make Blink Stalkers blink out of his main, bypass my containment, and then come in here to harass. Um, but the things, but the scouting information I do get is just no robotics, so I don't have to worry about an immortal bus getting through my bunkers in the front. Uh, Colossus trying to outrange my bunkers at the front. So I don't need like super fast Vikings or anything like that. Um, warp prison play, I won't have to worry about. Although, I mean, it could still come. I mean, just because he doesn't have a robotics facility now, all he has to do is build one and then make a warp prism. But at least I don't have to worry about it right away. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so for that reason, you know, just bunkers on the low ground, medevacs, don't really need a. don't really need Vikings. So. Maybe not even building a reactor in my starport. Maybe just building one medvac at a time is good enough. Um, the other thing I'd want to do is search the entire map for proxy pylons. So I'll get a bunker in my front anyways. Um, and then a missile turret at my containment and a missile turret at this bunker up here. And that covers everything with Blink Stalker. But if I have bio and medevacs at the front, Blink Stalkers, um, it would be risky to go counterattack with them. If he did, um, I can just pick up my army, land it into his main, which would bypass any force fielding he could do. 
and uh, a base trade would obviously really favor me because I would have Stim Bio with Medivax versus Blink Stalker, so he would never be able to engage me heads up. Um, the other thing is he may not leave for a while, so I can always just keep like a put like a missile turret here and a missile turret here or something like that, or maybe just a sensor tower right here. Something to keep an eye on Blink Stalker's leaving his base. However, with that said, we never got to that point in the game, so that was the end of this one. So thank you guys for tuning in. Check the description for a thumbs up link, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.